Thank you. Oh. Yeah, we should uh, thanks Google for to support me for like two summers to uh, work with Alex and finish two plugins. And uh, today I will present uh, our suite. Uh, we call it Avalon. It's for the network ontology visualization and, uh, analysis. Uh, well, uh, theoretically, this suite can apply to any ontology uh, based network. But uh, the gene ontology is the most popular one, and we use it as an example. It covers uh, like 48 species and uh, more than, oh, sorry, okay, more than two millions of annotations. And it's widely, most widely used uh, gene annotation database. And based on those huge annotations, there's a lot of uh, uh, analysis method developed based on the gene ontology. The most uh, uh, essential one is uh, functional enrichment analysis. No matter now you are working on the, the microarray data or the RNA-seq data, and the functional enrichment analysis becomes a very essential step to uh, study the uh, functional for those differential expression genes. And here it is. Uh, all of those uh, published algorithm for the enrichment an analysis, uh, there are at least more than tw 50 different algorithms. And, but uh, al although there are lots of different uh, methods, uh, tools, or algorithms, but it's still lack of a good uh, tool to visualize those ontology-based network. And uh, it's still, have some room or space to develop some new algorithm to analysis uh, the ontology-based network. And we pr uh, propose a suite we call it Avalon. It contains like four different parts. And one, uh, it, it has four uh, individual plugins, or you can use it as a bundle to give you some extra functions. And one of them we call the mosaic. It's address the visualization part. The rest of three uh, are focusing on the analysis. Uh, the NOAA is for the enrichment analysis. The NDA is for advanced network decomposition. And the NMA is working on the ontology-based network decom uh, module detection. And thanks, uh, well, we are we, we don't want to limit us to this uh, single suite. And we uh, also want to, we also want to create some uh, useful uh, plugins for other plugin, uh, I mean, for other developers. And we, we hope we can create some functions uh, based on the 3.0 and other plugins can utilize our plugins rather than create their own, uh, well, method. And currently we are, are, are finished two plugins during the past two summers. One is uh, called Mosaic, Mo Mosaic, and it's addressed on the, uh, it's based on the, uh, it's addressing the uh, visualization part. The major function is partitioning the huge uh, ontology-based network to the smaller one and give the different, uh, we know the uh, gene ontology has three branch, uh, biologic process, cellular component, and molecular function. And we will give the, using the different uh, strategy to display the different attribute of a different branch of this of uh, gene ontology. And the first step, based Based on the, uh, we will an annotate the whole network uh, based on the gene ontology. And we divide, uh, we uh, partition or decompose the huge network based on the biological process terms for each node. And we'll generate the sub network, uh, a bunch of sub network. And each sub network contains those, ter uh, those nodes share the same biological process term. And on the left panel, we will generate a tree structure. And it, it mm, reflects the relations between those biological process terms. 
and you can using the right click, uh, right -click menu to extend those uh, uh, net network to uh, further partitioning all, all oh well the de uh, de delete those network and the second uh, step is based on the cellular component of each node and the, for each uh, partition uh, sub-network, we will draw our cell as background and based on the cellular component terms of each uh, node, we set, the, set them to the right location. It, uh, it happens very frequently such one gene uh, can exist to the different uh, sub-cellular localization of the cell and we will create a two replicate for one particular node. And also we will create the replic for those interactions between this particular node and the other node. And the last step, we will coloring those nodes based on the uh, cellular uh, molecular function. And here the left side we will show a color legend and list all uh, the, the mapping between the different colors and all possible uh, molecular functions for this subset of gene. And you can click the, this uh, button to show, display this legend or close it. And uh, by choosing, here is uh, the, the pull menu, you can choose one particular uh, molecular functions you interested and those genes, those nodes with these particular functions will be highlighted. And you also can select, uh, click the select node, it will show the, uh, the other attributes of those nodes in the data panel. And well, for the 3.0, it's not necessary. So we will, all of them are based on the 2.8. Uh, uh, and we will, we don't need this uh, button for 3.0 anymore. And uh, besides those uh, three major functions, we will also create our overview network for, for, for those uh, biological pr precise terms. And the, the, the connection between two terms presents the overlap between two biological pro, uh, precise subnetwork, and that's the uh, first uh, plugin for the uh, visualization. Another one we call Innova, uh, we call it Nova. It's about the enrichment analysis, and one of our co collaborators published a paper uh, last year on nucleic research. The traditional enrichment analysis method is working, it's based on the gene set, right? Just give a set of gene, and no matter what kind of statistical model they use, they will give you a set of overrepresented functions. That's all. But uh, sometimes the disease is caused by the interaction change rather than the gene absent. So given given two set of gene without the different interaction, the traditional enrichment analysis method cannot differentiate the, uh, the, the function change for those two sets of genes. And our uh, collaborators develop a new method, a new algorithm for uh, perform, performing the enrichment analysis. It's based on the interaction of two genes rather than the gene itself. And we implement that function and also implement those traditional or gene set-based function. We call it node-based here. And uh, for each single network, that, that's one uh, advantage of these uh, plugins. For each single network, you will you can choose the 
no uh, interaction-based method or the traditional-based uh, no uh, gene set-based method. And based on the different selection, you will you can choose the different uh, test network or reference network. It will give you the different uh, result. And also, we implement the different uh, statistical methods, such as the uh, traditional hypergeometry or the Fisher exact test or the z-score. And you also can choose the different correction method. And finally, it will show you a over-represented uh, function list for uh, for the given network. And also, here is a similar overview network as a mosaic to present the relations between over, overlaps between those terms with the uh, well with the within the this uh, overrepresented function list. Besides the this and click one uh, one particular go term or go uh, go term, and in the original network view those nodes with this particular term will be highlighted. Uh, besides this uh, functions for processing the single network, we also create a new function we call batch mode. It can handle multiple network at the same time. And instead of like uh, processing, if, uh, for example, if you have like time series data, or you generate a bunch of network for the different uh, tissue, and or different, right, uh, the time point. Instead of process them one by one by one, you can have a chance to process all of them together. And the advantage for processing them together, we will have the different choice, such as using the uh, combination of all of those network as a background instead of using the whole genome as a background. Using the combination of those background uh, network as background, it will effectively remove those terms uh, overrepresented across all networks. I will show you a later uh, uh, example later, and it will generate uh, uh, overrepresented term list for each network, and will we also will draw a heat map. And here it's the, 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 the network, and here it's the, the over-represented functions. And you can uh, catch those, some terms. They are, they are only over-represented for partial networks rather than across all networks. And we apply our method to uh, 400, we, we convert 400 human pathways. Uh, those, are, those pathways are from wiki pathway to the network and using that uh, method to analysis them. And here is uh, this block is this block. You, you can see those uh, cancer related pathways has been clustered together and with those uh, uh, cell deaths, uh, apoptosis, uh, functions. It's quite uh, sig significant. And besides those two plugins, we still are working on, on the rest uh, of novel uh, algorithm design part. One is uh, trying to uh, integrate the multiple level, uh, level of network, such as uh, generally we will have a network construct by, based on the gene expression or the protein-protein interaction. And we will treat the gene ontology as a, another, another network. And we are trying to combine those network and to f finalize, uh, uh, to perform other uh, functions, uh, uh, to form, perform an, uh, other analysis, such as the module detection or the de decomposition. And besides that, like we're also trying to improve the current existing plugins. The Cesaros is a very uh, widely used pro uh, plugin for ID mapping. And we will uh, collaborate with the, 
the, the, the debugging team of this plug, uh, plugin and trying to add some the, the, the ontology or pathway file parser to that one and also add the functional, move the functional annotation uh, function to the Cesaros as well. And since, uh, uh, for example, the gene ontology database has been, they claim they update it uh, every day, right? But for most of plugin, most uh, enrichment analysis tool, usually they will update their database like a uh, few months, maybe uh, like once a year. And sometimes user will ask you, so I want using the, the newest gene ontology rather than like two years ago, two, uh, the adaptation from two years ago, right? And uh, those plugins don't have that capacity to handle it. And we will uh, let user to pass the, the newest OBO file by themselves and utilize those newest ontology informations for either the, the, the mosaic, the network decomposed uh, partitioning or the enrichment analysis. And they also can save those files in, uh, locally and manage those data files by themselves. And besides that, we also planning to, you know, as I said, I don't, we don't want to limit us into the, uh, our own plugins and we want to be, uh, create some interface and can interact our plugins with other plugins and let user to create their custom, customized or own pipelines and such as maybe they can, uh, that, that, that's just a plan. I, have, I don't have a, a specific, uh, uh, design for this one, yeah. But I I, I talked to uh, David from Max Planck this this, this uh, during the lunch, and yeah, it's really difficult to create a uh, a really like one click uh, function to to ex uh, execute like several different plugins, right? As user wants. Sometimes user, uh, uh, even for myself, a precise uh, some uh, time series data, for example, like I have like two, 20 different data sites. I have to run the same step again, again, again. If I can create a pipeline, I just uh, uh, cite them once, and next time I can just load my citing and just fit the new data set into the pipeline, and we don't need re-click each plugin again, it will be much better and time, uh, save a lot of time. And well, such as there is a lot of usual, uh, very popular uh, plugins such as M code or Bingo, or maybe we can uh, interact with them, like just uh, first step, decompose the network to several different, several smaller ones, and for each uh, smaller network, they can apply the mosaic or apply Bingo, right? It's just you know, my imagine, imagination, so I haven't done yet. And well, uh, first, uh, first of all, we, I should thank uh, Alex, uh, Alexander. He is a uh, uh, really uh, good tutor and guidance for those uh, for those two projects for like two years. We almost have like. Uh, um, teleconference every week and it's really helpful for me to uh, learn the whole system quickly. And also thanks uh, the Christina and Nathan from USSF and Alan from Adeline for helping me, helping me to develop the uh, mosaic. And thanks uh, the, the Jian Jun Gao from the Memorial Salon Catherine Cancer Center. He, well, did uh, lots of modification for the Cesaros and based on my <laughs> requirement. Also, he is uh, our, uh, one of our co-developers. He is also developed the new novel method for the enrichment analysis. And also thanks the uh, Google Summers of 
code a program again to support those two projects. Any questions? <laughs>